Fish farmers Brian and Leanne are about to give this Russian sturgeon an ultrasound. Boy, that's a feisty one. A little prenatal care for the sturgeon is important because one day she'll produce what sturgeon are best known for. Caviar. Black gold, the darling of fancy cocktail parties worldwide, otherwise known as fish eggs. But they aren't just any fish eggs. Caviar only comes from this type of fish, the sturgeon. Okay, eggs. See the eggs? Yeah. Yeah. So this is definitely a female. Sturgeon have been around for 200 million years, but they've been so overfished that some species are close to extinction. So Marshallbrook Farm in Smyrna, North Carolina, is farming sturgeon instead of fishing it. Their goal is to create a market for North Carolina caviar. And they're using Russian sturgeon, a fish that used to live in the Caspian Sea. The fish that we're raising here don't exist in the wild anymore. So it's not like we're competing with fishermen or anything. This fish is farmed. Farmed fish have a dirty reputation. Crowded fish pens along rivers, lakes, and seashores pollute the surrounding environment with waste and food. But Marshallbrook Farm grow their sturgeon in above ground tanks, avoiding the problem of pollution. My father actually started this company and he wanted to sort of prove um, that America could do aquaculture responsibly. We import about 90% of our seafood here. A lot of that is coming from unsustainable sources. What makes this farm sustainable is how they use water. We're a water a drinking water treatment plant and a wastewater treatment plant wrapped up in one. And we got fish to keep alive. Water drains out of the tank, uh, drains down into a sump by gravity, it gets filtered, bacteria eat up the ammonia, and then the water gets pumped back in again. So it's, it's a loop like this. Our systems are designed to recirculate the entire volume of the tank once every hour. That helps us keep the water clean, keeps them low stress, and uh, uh, reduces our stress. Keeping the fish stress-free is crucial. Lots of fish can start producing eggs at two years old, but for Russian sturgeon, it can take more than eight years to produce caviar, which is one of the reasons it's so expensive. You can imagine the time and, and patience and, and frankly investment that goes into uh, being able to keep something alive for so long. That's why clean water is important, but so is space. On this farm, the females especially have lots of room to wander. They can spend most of their energy uh, floating around peacefully, uh, bumping heads with each other perhaps, uh, but more importantly looking uh, for, for feed that we supply them. They're cute, they do little tricks in the water sometimes. <laughs> um, they're cool fish. But all good things must come to an end. Farmers check to see if the female fish are ready for harvest with a small incision. Then they'll remove the eggs and process the meat for protein. Depending on the quality, each ounce of these eggs costs around $60. Yeah, so this, this here is about a $200 tin. It takes a lot to get that product. Good quality caviar has a firm texture and pops in your mouth. And it takes years of keeping fish happy to get it just right. Happy fish equals delicious caviar equals happy uh, maintenance guys.